In this video, I do a little bit of daddy daycare. I spot Tom skiving and treat a very messy white line lesion. Good morning folks and welcome to Tech TV. I don't know what you would call us, but I think we'll go down over the name of house trimmers. Good morning everyone and welcome to another episode of Tech TV. I've got a little bit of help with me here this morning. Um, this is little Eloise. Mummy's got a, an interview this morning, so I have to do a little bit of child minding before I go off trimming. Just in case she cries during the interview. Everyone's done online nowadays. Um, so little Eloise here is four months old and uh, she might be a, my little hoof trimming assistant in years to come possibly, who knows. Um, shout out to Pally and all the folk at KVK um, for the little uh, KVK vest. It's looking cute isn't it? I've got the chap coming to look at this concrete job. I've been waiting since last November actually for, for them to come. They've been very busy so they're going to come today and hopefully if the weather's good this week they will they will get um, some concrete down hopefully so I'll be able to wash and sharpen my tools at home which will be a great help and when I get away this morning I am going to do an emergency suckler cow and um, she's very sore so farmer rang last week so I moved things around and I'm gonna go to go to him this morning and sort that cow out hopefully make her more comfortable I will chat you all on the farm hopefully Brooke what have you got there? What have you got there Brooke? These here are my great dog toys. Brooke is just over two years old now and when she was a pup I gave her this little, it's called a TP block, it's one of the softer ones. So she's, you can imagine the amount of chewing this has got over the years and it's still, still the same hoof block it was two years ago with all the chewing. So these really do stand a lot of wear. And Brooks too and she's still playing with it. I'll give you back your dough, Brooke. With Daddy Daycare morning duties done, that's me off to the farm. spotted Skaven in the car park. Went in to get himself Want a, a coffee, week. Gareth? Yeah, please. Hit that at the right time. Didn't you? Yeah. But you have, it's not so bad you hit something at the right time. Yeah. You know, you'd be late for work, but you're in time for coffee. Yeah, just a regular plea. So I timed that well to get a free coffee. It's always a good start to the Monday morning. Thank you. There you are, Gareth. Thanks very much. What are you doing today? Do you want a skinny or do you want to be skinny? I want to be skinny. I've a few jobs for a month. Are you having a hairdresser's Monday? Hmm? Are you having a hairdresser's Monday? I'm having a hairdresser's Monday. Keep the wife happy and do a few jobs around the house. And it really does contribute to a happy, happy, happy life. That's me on farm now. Um, Daddy daycare is done for the day, so on to my second job for the day. Let's see how we can help this lame cow out.
cow was extremely lame coming into the crush. Unfortunately, as I was trying to get a shot of it, she almost escaped. That's what happens when I try to multitask. As you can see from this angle, the outer claw is almost twice the size of the inner claw. This means that the cow's entire weight was going down on the outer claw. With feet like these, I go slowly into them with the knife to see what we've got. There is a huge overgrowth here and what appears to be a white line issue. You may think I'm taking a while to do this foot, but I tend to switch between the grinder and the knife. This foot clearly needs a block. My block choice for this foot is another smart block. I trim away the toe edge just so I can position the block slightly further back on the claw to improve the foot angle. I noticed this cow had a weak deep flexor tendon. That is why I wanted to place the block further back in her heel to divert the weight from the heel to the toe so that she walks more naturally. This is actually quite a gruesome lesion. As we get into the nitty gritty of this lesion, there's a lot of hoof to be removed. As you can see, the corium is exposed at the white line area. This is quite delicate work and cannot be rushed. This cow would not have looked as lame in the field. Now that she's come in for calving, there is less give in the concrete. Each step she takes, the downward force is magnified, causing a lot more pressure on the lesion with each step. For the final feel around for loose horn and sharp edges, with a bandage this guy should be good to go. I wrap this lesion with salicylic acid just to dry it out and kill any bacteria in there. Yeah. 
When this cow came in, it was clear she was lame on the back right. I thought the other three feet would just be routine trims. But as I further investigated the back left, it was clear that she had a white line problem there too. Because the back right was so bad, she probably couldn't show any signs of lameness on the back left. It's one thing when your shoes don't match, but it's a whole different problem when your socks don't even match. Who knows, we may start a new fashion trend. I really do love blondes, but please don't tell my wife. I'm safe in this situation, this is a Belgian blue. This cow is quite unsteady when she gets out. It just takes her a moment to realise that she's been relieved of her pain. It's nice to be able to help, even one cow like this. Not every day we set up and do loads of cows, so it's nice to be able to get to them all. This cow is back in the pen with her calf. So it's nice to see her standing up. Um, this cow is a little bit dirty around the back there. Um, she would have been, because her feet were so sore, she would have been lying down a lot to keep the weight off them. So um, now that she's got those two blocks or those two crutches on the two lesions, the two sore places, um, she's able to bear weight and stand up. So because she is more comfortable, more happy, she's gonna have a better week and her calf's gonna have a better week as well because while she's more comfortable, she'll produce a little bit more milk for the calf and everyone is a winner. I hope you enjoy this video. If you want to see more videos where we make cows more comfortable and improve their life, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell for the notifications. We have lots more videos to come. So thanks for watching and bye for now.